Hey guys, Ronnie here from Primal Gourmet. Uh, if you've seen me do any kind of cooking on my social media, specifically on Instagram, you've probably seen me cook on one of my Traegers. I have three Traegers, I love them. Don't ask me why I have three, uh, but I cook on them all the time. They're my absolute favorite grill. Uh, and I started cooking on them about two years ago and I haven't looked back since. Uh, one of the questions I get asked very, very often is how do you keep your grills looking so clean? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. Uh, I like to cook on a really clean grill because cooking on a dirty grill is really gross. So, to get started, all you need are a few things. First and foremost, you're gonna want a vacuum. I use a shop vac because I'm not afraid if it gets dirty, uh, but any vacuum will do, again, as long as you're not worried about damaging it with some of the pellet dust. Next thing you want is a set of gloves. Uh, any kind of latex glove will do, just to keep your hands from getting really greasy. You don't really need to wear gloves. I've done it without gloves many times. It's just uh, you'll have a little bit more of a cleanup job to do. Last but not least, you're going to need some heavy-duty aluminum foil. I like to use a heavy-duty gauge aluminum foil because it stands up to the heat of the grill a lot better than something that's just a regular old uh, thin aluminum foil. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one crucial thing. You're gonna want a wooden bristle brush, and this is for regular maintenance to wipe down the grill grates. Uh, I recommend using a wooden bristle brush for your Traegers, specifically uh, for your Pro Series or your Ironwood because you've got a porcelain grill grate as opposed to the Timberline, which is a stainless steel grate. And a, a metal bristled brush uh, will probably damage that coating, and you don't want that. It's gonna ruin all that beautiful non-stick properties of the grill grate. So a wooden bristle, bristle brush is the way to go. And also, it's very possible that if you're using a metal bristle brush, some of those metal particle or metal fibers are gonna end up in your grill and then in your food. And that's a big hazard. So wooden bristle brush is the way to go. I actually start cleaning my grill the moment I finish grilling. So after I cook, whatever I'm cooking, while the grill is still hot, I will take my bristle brush and I'll just give a really good wipe down of all of the grates while the grill is still hot because while this gr hot, grill is hot the food is less likely to stick to it so you've got a bit of an advantage by starting immediately after and that way also when you're ready to cook the next time your grill is already clean so once you've got your grill cooled down and powered off, you definitely don't want your grill to be on or hot when you're cleaning it. You're gonna go ahead, put on your gloves. And this is just to protect against any of the grease that might be on the grill grate or on the aluminum foil that's already on your drip pan. So, just remove the top grill grate. Set that aside. And the first thing you're gonna do is, if you have been cooking on an aluminum foil uh, lined drip tray, drip pan, you're just gonna take that off. This makes cleaning your grill so easy and it's super important because if you don't line your drip pan with foil or some kind of liner, all of the grease is gonna get caked on to this, this grease pan and every time you cook at a high temperature, you're gonna have a grease fire hazard and also a lot of smoke buildup. So I highly recommend always lining your drip pan with foil. Change it whenever it gets dirty. Sometimes you're cooking something like a rack of ribs for six hours on a low heat. It's not gonna render much fat, but if you're grilling steaks or burgers uh, that's rendering a lot of fat, you're gonna probably clean it at least after every use. So this just goes in the trash or the recycling. You're gonna remove the grease pan. Set that aside. You're gonna remove this baffle. This is the heat baffle that covers the fire pot. Set that aside. And now you're gonna assess the inside of your grill. If the inside of your grill is really, really dusty, you're gonna to wanna to shop vac everywhere. A little bit of dust like this, I'm not too worried about. Uh, that's actually gonna give a little bit of insulation to the grill in the winter time. But if it's super duper piled up and heavy, you're gonna wanna shop vac that as well. 
The most important part is to shop vac the inside of the fire pot because there's a heat rod and if that heat rod is covered, it's not gonna be able to produce the sufficient amount of heat uh, and get any oxygen in there and that's gonna cause a really delayed startup and it's gonna make your cooking experience much, much worse. So, after each, maybe I'd say every two to three cooks, maybe four cooks, depending on what you're cooking and at what temperature you're cooking at, you're gonna wanna shop vac that fire pot. Perfect. I'll go ahead and shop back the inside of the grill as well. And now our grill is nice and clean. Uh, and that's super important because that's gonna make sure that uh, when we go to cook the next time, we're gonna have a quick startup uh, and heating so that we don't have to wait too much and there won't be any heating delays. Now, one tip while you have the fire pot exposed is to pop a couple of pellets right in there. And that's actually gonna help you speed up the heat up time when you're ready to cook your next time. So, we're just gonna replace the heat baffle like so. We're gonna put the drip pan back on. And now we're just gonna grab our heavy duty aluminum foil. And you can size it up, depending on how much you need. Tear off your sheet. And then you just gotta line it up. Crimp the edges, make sure it stays in place. And then one thing that's really important is to make sure that you're not blocking the grease trap because otherwise the grease won't flow out. And in this case, on a Pro Series, it's gonna go to the drip, the drip pan uh, to the left of the grill. Now that you've got your foil liner on, you're gonna pop your grates back on. And that's it. You've got perfectly clean grill. Uh, if you want, you can assess the sides and see if there's any caked on grease. If there is, just take a little uh, screwdriver or a little spatula and you can just clean those off because any kind of grease that's built on there is a fire hazard. And that's it. Remove your gloves. Super duper easy cleanup. Get rid of those. And you're good to go. So I hope that answered some questions. Uh, one thing that I didn't do here is I didn't clean the outside of the grill because I keep a grill cover on my grill when I'm not using it and that keeps it really nice and clean. But if you did need to clean the outside, you can use just a hot soap, uh, sorry, it's just a soapy water with a sponge um, and then even just hose it down. It's perfectly fine as long as you don't get any water in the hopper with the pellets, you're good to go. So I hope that answers some questions again uh, and that you're no longer scratching your head about how to easily clean your Traeger. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. And if you want to catch any more of the recipes, you can go to my blog, cookprimalgourmet.com, or check me out on social at primal underscore gourmet. Peace and love.